Are you going to use watercolors or gouache? Disha wants to know. Already? Already. <laughs> I'm going to use watercolors and good morning. Um. Okay. I think I'm all. Let's try that. All right. Hello, everybody. How are we? I think we kind of all knew today had to be you two. Correct. Though there were quite a bit of... Drayden's World says, hi, I'm sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's no fun. Yeah, we can see it. You're in the middle. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Well, HBBH says, hi. Hello. Oh, Derpy gotta... Freedom says, hello. I recently watched Animal Crackers movie and I loved it. So oh, happy I caught your live. Thank you. Rivy says, hi, lovelies. Hello, and hello. J Cream Game says hello. All right, so this is the picture I'm going to use of Bono, but I think I like this side better because of the hair and the lighting. So I'm going to flip it real quick. Daniel Sketchart says greetings from Texas. Tracy says good morning. Feel like a chilly fall morning for me. How are you all? We are doing good, thank you. Saroj is here. Jojo family's here. Artsy Emma's here. Dark Side says hello. Delita says hello. Trung says hello. Hello, hello. Now let me and we have it. a Bethany. Hey, Bethany. Blaze Dragons, hi, I love your videos. Autumn Rain says, hello, I will thank be. You. Good morning, I will be hiding from the world under a blanket. Ooh, Fair enough. That is a absolutely wonderful idea. I agree. I love that idea. Oh, Nixie works. is here. Brandy B says, good morning. Good Brianna's morning. here. Um. It's, I'm about to try adding the outlining thing um, you do. Wish me luck. Oh, good luck. I'm sure you're going to do great. Um, let's see. I love you too. Nice choice. Hello's. Oh, Lula's here and says, good morning, friends from the rainy Southwest. I hope you all have a fantastic oh, good Wednesday. Good morning. Okay. I think I got everything. I had to flip the picture and then put it on the iPad that I'm going to use. Gail's here. <coughs> Hello, Gail. So excited for this one. I grew up listening to you 2 with my dad, so this hits close to home. <sighs> what do you appreciate music for in general? I think uh, music could do something that no other arts can, which mm -hmm. is to evoke emotion mm -hmm. yep. that just... It, it, it can just hit your soul in a way that I don't know if any other art can do. Nixia and Steph Nerd are here. Hello, Nixia. Pacer is here. Nerd. Do not get in trouble, kiddo. Um, hope everything's going well. You're so cute. Um, let's see. Good morning from my cat. We'll tell your cat we said good morning. It's finally getting slightly colder. I wish it was getting colder here. It is not getting colder. All here. right. I am ready. Sorry, I had to flip the picture and everything. And okay, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, Okie Pokey says hello and is about to go to Sydney and planning on drawing the Opera House. Oh, that's so cool. That's very iconic. I love that idea. Yeah. Um. McCulter's green suit says Scott. Thank you for being you. <laughs> You are welcome. Do you ever try oil paint? Uh, I did in high school, and I didn't particularly like it. Uh, Bethany is our resident oil painter. Killer Retro says, I finally got the book called How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. Oh, that's fantastic. I hope it helps. Let's see. It's got the 80s mullet um... going on. Yeah, Bethany says, but it is getting colder here. I slept with my deck doors open last night and it felt glorious. Oh, that's cool. What time is it for you? It is 9.04 a.m. Yesterday I got my new watercolor set, says the OG. Oh, nice. Let's see. Derpy says, I listen to music to escape reality. It makes me happy and content. Yeah. Yeah. We get that. Um. Every time I get I see a notification with your live, I get so excited. <laughs> Thanks. 
I taught my kiddos to use music like a mood influencer. You can change your whole mood by picking wisely. You really can. Ink Ivy, that is 100% correct. Um, what is your favorite comic book series? Um, well, I, I would say Spider-Man because I, I loved it as a kid. But I actually own every issue of Conan the Barbarian. He does indeed. I can attest to that. Um, let's see. Hello from my plane ride. Please tell me you're using the plane's Wi-Fi. I would love to have a YouTube channel like you. Any advice, please? Um, I would say do what you love. Find find your voice. Experiment. Play around. Um, you don't want to start a channel doing something that you don't enjoy. And uh, just think about, you know, if you're going to make a thousand videos, what are they going to be about? Mm -hmm. um, good morning, Piper. Um, over in Arizona right now, it's not getting that cool. Why did you pick U2? It's the letter U, mm -hmm. and um, my choices were very, <laughs> uh, very sparse. Uh, you got U2, you got UB40, uh, some people mention Ultravox, which I don't know. Another one was Undertones, I think, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but... Okay, so... But, I mean, U2 is universally known. One so, Up Girl is here for just a bit. I, I will say this, I was not a U2 fan. Not in the 80s. We are live. Um, so glad a friend that caught a live. I've missed them. I've just been busy lately. Oh, totally understand. Crafty cosplay girl. Lily checks here and says, good morning. How are we on this watercolor Wednesday? We're doing good. Thank you. I think I've got them penciled out. Okay. Um, ah, I got notified on discord that you were live and got excited. I was finally going to be early. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see. This band phone. sparked a lifelong battle to help those in need. 1980 began my career as a bleeding heart. I love the way oh. you do portraits. You make it look so easy. That's Danielle. Oh, thank you. I think let's this is see. good, right? This is going to be in shadow here. Um, Scott wants to do sculpting. I'd um, like to try that one day. Yeah. But I don't want to do it unsupervised. And he doesn't want to do it live. I don't mind doing it live. I just want to make sure that I'm... Oh, good. Giddy Cat says, hello from Canada. Just got the Gothic Vampire poster in the mail. I'm so excited to display it proudly. Oh, thank you. Oh, did it come in okay? Please let me know it came in okay. I am so sorry for all of you who have had issues with the posters coming in, you know, damaged and things like that. God, we've seen some... I, I don't understand what the post office is doing. Some... I yeah, I mean it's it is a it's in a hard cardboard yeah. tube. Yeah. And some post postal people just smushed them, just yeah. crushed them. Yeah. It looks like they got run over by a car. Yeah, they do. And it's and I apologize, but there is and and we will make it right, but there's absolutely nothing I can do after the post office. Yeah. After I drop it off, there's nothing I, I can do. I think we're going to take yeah. a, uh, just take all of the pictures that everybody sends us and. Oh no, we're not. You don't think we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. put all those in and we're gonna tell the post office they owe us lots of money because they have destroyed so many posters. It's ridiculous. Um, we do like eighties metal also known as hair bands. Well, um, there's hair bands, which is the Poisons, the Motley Crue, right. the Bon Jovis. But then there's 80s metal, which could be like the Megadeths, the Iron Maidens, you know, et cetera. So it just depends on who you talk to. Different Queensryche? Queensryche. Hair or metal? I'd say Queensryche is more uh, hair. Hmm. Um, I've recently been stuck with my art progression, feeling unmotivated, but your art style has helped me get back into it. Love your watercolor style. Oh, thank you. That is, um, Coltra's. Um, you two is from the UK. Uh, oh, and Ellen's here. Say good morning to Ellen. Hello. Hey, Ellen. Molly says good afternoon from England. Good afternoon. Let's see. 
Days with Ace says, hello from south of Nashville. I love all your work. Also, when you took your wife to see the red panda. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, hello, neighbor. Let's see. Hello from Greece and my bunny. Hello. Let's see. Mark says, good afternoon. And he had a good first day of second um, seventh grade. Oh, that's great. Good afternoon. Ellen says, this band also started a lifelong battle to get their music. Um... Is it out of our iPods? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that funny. was the biggest mistake. I mean, it was a cool idea, but it was like, why do I have this on my iPod? Let's see. Um. Oh, Linda says, I saw Animal Crackers. I love it. Tim Hodge promoted it in class on Creature Art Teacher. Oh, in a class fan. on creature art. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Tim, Tim is the best. Tim yeah. and I are going <laughs> to... So, Tim is a good friend. He's so, very sweet. Yeah. So, I mean, you, and, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the video where I went uh, sketching downtown Franklin with my friend Tim. That's, that's Tim Hodge. Tim. Yeah. Uh, where we, we both drew the tree or painted the tree. So, Tim is doing uh, like a daily oil portrait um series series and he he messages me and says hey you know uh would you be up for sitting for a portrait it's two hours ah. <laughs> and you know he's like don't worry you know we take breaks and this and that and i'm like i can't imagine myself sitting for 20 minutes much less two hours and so i i said look i i, I want to I want to do this. I want to help you, but I just don't think I could do that. Um, so I had an idea of what if we uh, go someplace to paint and mm -hmm. he could paint me painting something. So at least I'm occupied with doing something and he goes, that's totally fine. I think it's kind of funny, actually. Um... Ryan says, my friend used to quote Henry Rollins and say, you two milked the same baseline for 20 years. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm watching while I plan my line of medicinal teas. Love watching you draw and spending the morning with you. Hmm, you'll have to keep me posted on that. Mm, what are the most requested 80s bands for today's letter? Uh, it was you two and UB40. Yeah. Those were the most requested. Yes. Um, this is my first time catching a live. I'm so excited. You're I'm going welcome. to a U2 concert in LA. Nice. I hope it'll be fun. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Do you have any advice for starting art classes? I start tomorrow and I'm a bit nervous. That's Crafty Cosplay Girl. <coughs> um, I would say from experience, uh, just be open to trying what you're being taught. Uh, I, I was really resistant to any... Teachings? <laughs> it was just like, I, I don't want to do this. I want to do what I want to do. Because, you know, I was 18, 19 years old, you know, and... 19, 20 years old. Yeah. You thought you knew everything. I did. And so I just, I would say, listen, tr experiment, try. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have tried painting um i was just so resistant i just want to do my colored pencils and uh so I, that that's what i would say i think it's great that you give people the advice based on your experience and how at that point in your life you were so like no i'm gonna do colored pencils but now you see the benefit of doing more than that that's age you know, of course you... it is, 100%. But you don't look back and, and you look back and you share. And I think that's, that's, you're giving others the benefit of your experience. Well, thank you, dear. Um, the poster came in okay. There was one little fold on an edge, but nothing I couldn't unfold and fix. Fantastic. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being so sweet. I am so happy it came in donna literally rolled every I did. single one yeah and i signed them and yeah yeah bethany and did everything bethany else. did every single yeah. label for all of yeah. the it's just been it has been a um it's been a thing we were just not expecting no i no no we thought we'd sell maybe a hundred no i didn't even think we'd sell that 
I didn't even think we'd sell that. I only bought 50 tubes to start, as Scott and Bethany can attest to. Yeah. I only bought 50 tubes, and I just thought, you know, but um, anyway, thanks for being with, for for loving the poster, and thanks for putting up with uh, me taking weeks to get it out to you. So actually, it's only been two, so we're not doing too bad. Um, let's see. Oh my God. You're so good at art. I have been practicing every day, watching your video lives and more. I learned so much from you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so nice of you. Um, he's only drawing half the faces because he likes that aesthetic. It's, it's a very thin, mm -hmm. uh, piece of watercolor paper. And so I just thought it would be kind of cool to just do half of a face. You should be able to buy the Gothic vampire poster, um, if in, in Indonesia and have it shipped. It does cost extra for shipping because, well, it's going on a plane over the water. But you should be able to buy it. If you log on to the site, um, it should be there. Not log on. If you just go to I the mean, site. I mean, yeah, if you go to the site and you go to the store, you should be able to find it. And, then, and Bethany says, yeah, we do ship there. We've shipped everywhere. We've shipped to Malta, for crying out loud. which is Malta? Yeah. And we've shipped to Australia. And we've shipped to a lot of other places. Um the postal service says we're allowed to ship to new zealand now but we're not having such good luck with new zealand coming up on the thing so we're not sure what's going on with new zealand right now but all right yeah um i've been doing this thing with my parents where they try to guess who you are doing for each letter that's so cute oh that's great um let's see Lizzie's losing it. Hi, Scott and Donna. Long time no see since TikTok lives. Wow, that's oh, a long time ago. Welcome. Scott does not know what he's doing after this project. I, I kind of have an idea. I think I'm going to do another painting for myself. Oh, the like the gothic vampire? Yeah, like I did for the gothic vampire. I, I hope that's okay with everybody. I'm not okay with that. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Do you have any tips on how to draw fur better? You know, I did a series <coughs> of uh, painting the national animals. Mm -hmm. 30 days of 30 the days, national animals. And each fur was completely different. Mm -hmm. So some are short fur, some are long fur, mm -hmm. some are... Uh, and, and so it's, it's for me, it, I take it as I go mm -hmm. and kind of kind of look at it. But there is a book that I recommended. There's a video called... Um, how to draw animals that I did. Mm -hmm. And it's basically saying there's a book that I recommend and it's on our website under book recommendations called how to draw animals by, I think it's Jack ham. And I would recommend that if you just kind of want basics. I want basics. Um, let's see. Um, Hi from Namibia. Hello from Massachusetts. Good hello. afternoon from South Africa. Hello from Nevada. Hello, hello, hello. Um, how do you improve on inking like you? Um, for me, it's been uh, just practice and, and adjusting. And um, I didn't, I, I can't really say I, I looked at other people's art for inking so much as I just kind of did stuff that made me happy. But I also grew up copying comics and mm -hmm. i never picked up on the inking but i think some of it kind of seeped in mm -hmm. um a friend asked me to draw their cat i've never drawn a cat before i thought i was up for the challenge but now i'm avoiding it like the plague <laughs> but i want to keep trying do you have any advice I, I would say this if you're having a problem with the drawing trace, trace it, it. Mm -hmm. you know it, it's it's your your friend wants it to look like their cat, so get a photo, trace it, mm -hmm. and go from there. See how it looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you start adding the, you know, the the embellishments and everything, you know, it, it'll it'll look more like your art. But just mm -hmm. be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, Scott just answered that one on inking. We went to art school at um, Academy of Art in San Francisco. Do you have tips when feeling unmotivated? Yeah, yeah. Um, God, I was just thinking about that earlier today. Um, I do challenges. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm going to do the alphabet of 80s hair bands. Or mm -hmm. I'll do a Harry Potter 
uh, sketchbook mm-hmm. or Lord of the Rings mm-hmm. or I'll do the hair journal mm-hmm. or 30 days, days of studying the masters. Yeah, or 30 days mm-hmm. of the national animals. Mm-hmm. So I will say, you know, I'm not feeling very motivated mm-hmm. and I don't want to keep coming up with something new every day. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to come up with something kind of automi- automated, mm-hmm. you know, something that uh, you can just do. I could just do. Mm-hmm. And that way, yeah. you know, and then during those times of just making art, I will think of something that I've, you know, creative. Mm-hmm. And um, so that's that's what I do, at least. <clears throat> okay. Are you excited for fall? Yes. Yeah, we love fall. I'm looking forward to it. Give me a cozy blanket, warm something to drink, good movies or something to read. I actually, for the first time the other day, had the desire to watch um, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. It hasn't typically hit me this early. <laughs> previously but i'm in the mood i'm in the mood i think i'm gonna need some hot cocoa and um yeah so i'm still i want to sit on a beach somewhere dude i would not ever say let's not sit on a beach even if the beach was cold i would bring tea i mean come on well i bring tea when the beach is hot so it doesn't i'm not a fan of cold beaches i'm a fan of sand any way i can get it between my toes um, why is there such an intense shadow by the nose when you could have done with just done it with just normal watercolors? I, you know, it was just something I was just, I thought normally I would do that with watercolors, but I thought I would check it out and see if I like it. I, you know, like, like I was saying, um, on Friday, was it was Monday, Monday is sometimes I just want to try something different. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when I did Tears for Fears, I was like, I'm just going to do him in mid singing. Yeah. Because after a yeah. while it gets boring doing the same thing. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm going to do harsh shadows on this one. We call this artistic license, guys. <laughs> That's what we call this. I I I just am uh, It's funny the only place that I like repetition mm-hmm. is with food. Oh my god. We were just having this conversation <laughs> like 30 minutes ago. And Scott was, and now there are some people that, that 100% have the same thing to eat every day for every meal. And, um, it just makes their life easier. And he is trying to see if that might be something that would be more helpful for him and his stomach issues. So, yeah, your inking is so pretty. I love watching your shorts. Oh, thank you. Can I have some improvements on how to draw planets? I love drawing them. I'm an astronomy nerd. You know what, What? because um, I used to do Star Trek covers, mm-hmm. and uh, so I used to have to do a lot of interplanetary you know, wormholes and stuff like mm-hmm. that, yeah. Um, the thing that really helped me was airbrush. And, um, you know, if you're doing digital, find something mm-hmm. that's a very smooth kind of thing. But if you're mm-hmm. doing traditional, try something like airbrush. Mm-hmm. And, and, and there are... Spray paints, you know, are, mm-hmm. are not as nice, but if you can get something where that's really what you're looking for. You're looking for that very soft things just kind of blend over. That's that's how you get that nice uh, planetary look. Planetary look. Um, have you ever set up a stand out in public and sold your art out in public? No. No, 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 no. We've mostly um, done like conventions and things like that. We've done comic conventions mm-hmm. when I used to do comics, mm-hmm. and uh, but not actually. Uh, I used to do my art at, at the beginning before I started, you know, like because I was just doing the covers for comics. We did a booth at the um, the book festival downtown once. Yeah, but again, it was still books, not art. Touche. Um, learning from Scott's experience has provided a fantastic compass which helps navigate the art journey oh Aww. that's so great that's Rivy that's so at least we're helping that's all we really want to do is like just kind of you know it's it's great when you can bounce ideas off of other people and find out what worked for somebody and yeah. what didn't work for somebody and you know um Derpy says, I looked away for two seconds and you're already doing line art. I guess that's what 40 years of drawing does for you. <laughs> it's true. 
Sorry, Derpy. It's very true. Very true. Um. All right, so we talked about drawing fur. Check out the 30 Days of National Animals. Um, practice your inking. That's how you get better at that. Um, Kirsten says, morning, happy Wednesday. I've taken a break while we build a studio for me. We just have the insulation and sheetrock left. I've been obsessed with Pokemon Go again in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited you're going to have your own studio. That's, That's really super cool. exciting. I wanted to get the poster, but it seems to only ship near Copenhagen in Denmark. Um, I don't really know. It should you should be able to put your address in. If it ships to Denmark, it'll ship to Denmark. Um, you can find the poster on our website. Let's see. What brands of gouache and watercolor paints do you recommend? Well, I like Winsor & Newton, mm -hmm. um, but uh, if you're on a budget, uh, we really liked uh, Mia's Himmy gouache, and, and actually I like Mia's watercolor were really mm -hmm. good. But they're out of stock always. Yeah. They're, I don't know why they had us do a video and then didn't restock it. That drove me crazy. Um, yes, we shipped to Lebanon. We've actually shipped several posters to Lebanon already, yeah. some places in the Middle East. There are, unfortunately, some places the government does not allow us to ship, so we apologize for that. Um, you may be a little fuzzy. Me? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this thing, but that one looks a little fuzzy. What is there a... See, this one looks super clear, but that one looks a little fuzzy. You see oh, how I it looks that's fuzzy? just because uh, it's a little tiny. Okay. It's going to be the, you're at 360. See? Oh, okay. We're good then. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'll sorry. I just, I, sorry about that. Do, you can do auto. It was on auto. That's fine. Sorry about that. Okay. I just wanted to make sure everybody no, could good. see it. Sorry about that. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we weren't. Um... Now I'm just going to get back to doing my hair. Yeah. Sorry. Do your hair. I was jealous that you weren't doing my hair. So, um, just kidding. Um, I know you're kidding because you're like, stop drawing me. <laughs> oh, God. You haven't drawn me in so long. It's actually been um, quite refreshing. Nope, that's not true. Since you didn't use my hands for the gothic vampire. Yep, those are Donna's They're hands. my hands. Yeah. Do my fingers look chubby? I'm just kidding. Um, well, I was like, I need the hands of a soul-sucking monster. Oh, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's kind of funny actually <laughs> i don't know why but that was funny <coughs> probably because it's true <laughs> i've been chewing on your soul for 35 years babe <laughs> sucker you're not going anywhere um let's see any advice for studio must-haves Daniel would like to know. Um, a chair for your significant other or a special person who wants to come down and bug you and go, what you doing? What good you lighting. Doing? Good lighting. Um, I have uh, this daylight. Oh, that was a good light. purchase. Yeah. Daylight lamp. Yeah. And um, it's LED. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you spend, mm -hmm. I, I think it was maybe... 150 200 bucks or something but i can't remember you use it every day and it gives you the best representation of the colors because mm -hmm. you don't want to have like a yellow light or a blue uh -uh. light or something that doesn't because mm -mm. then you're going to be painting what you think is the right light and then you bring it out into natural light mm -hmm. and you go, oh that's not what i thought it was going to mm -hmm. look like yeah let's see how do you map out the faces when you start a portrait um, if you go back and you look at the beginning, mm -hmm. you'll see. Um, I do the, the general oval shape. <coughs> I go halfway is the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, I just... I'm also looking at a photo, too. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting question. Hey, uh, Esmeralda, we can bring her in tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Don't tease me. I just got an email. That's fantastic. So, Esmeralda... 
uh, last week. She has week, a leak in has, the fuel has line. Has a little fuel leak. Mm-hmm. And um, so I, Logan's not yep. here. For, yeah, otherwise he would fix it. Yeah, for us to work on it together. And I, I don't want to work on her by myself. And mm-hmm. so I, there's a local place called RES that um, does <gasps> wonderful work. Yes! We're turning on Charlie Brown while we package posters today! Sweet! Yes, please. Sorry. We, I had a moment. Sorry. <laughs> Bethany knows how to make yeah, you... Yeah, she ex- does. She's See, not okay, excited so, about inventory, but so, I'll make her. So, yeah. So, okay. So, funny story. So, Bethany Primrose puts up with a lot from... A, a oh, lot. God. from so Finally, someone knows so, the pain that I have to go so through with this woman. Monday... I was just Monday. I was all happy, happy, joy during the live. And then we had to package like, I don't even know, like a hundred something orders. And I was just so cranky. I was cranky all day. And she just bounced in the front door and was like, yay, we get to ship packages. And when I say this, I am not joking. She loves to ship things. I still have no idea why. Anyway. Oh, don't forget to wet the paper before painting. Thank you. So I was a foul mood so i'm pretty sure <laughs> the let's watch charlie brown <laughs> is so that i'm not as in as foul of a mood today <laughs> she's pushing my buttons but i don't care that's fine um emma says yay afternoon yay you too um for your next piece after this series we don't know what he's gonna do well, like I said, I, I, oh wait, will you be sketching out and blocking out ideas like you did for the Gothic yes. Vampire? I really enjoyed that process. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Damn. I'm going to um, come up with a few uh, ideas that I've already kind of worked out. I'll sketch them out. We'll talk about it, and I think it'll be fun. Um, there's a video on how Scott started his artistic journey. It's like 40 years of my art. Um, Vazapali, so you can check that one out. What is something you want to do in the next year? Mark wants to know. Make a movie again. Amen, brother. Amen. That's what we want to do. We really had fun making a movie. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We just, we want to get back to doing that if we can. Mm-hmm. Um, any recommendations on noise canceling headphones for autism? Well, the ones I, so I got the the uh, the Bose Quiet Forty Fives or whatever they were, mm. and then um, after a little bit, uh, I was having a problem with them charging or something, and I let Bose know, and they uh, said, "Oh, we'll send them in," and then they replaced them. But they mm. said, you know, uh, if you want to, we can for like basically you know if you want to pay a little bit more we can send you the nicer ones which are the bose 800s and those Mm -hmm. are the ones that i have now Mm -hmm. i don't know if they're nicer they seem i mean they they work great but um the bose over the ear headphones are the ones that i like now Mm -hmm. the sony makes really good over the ear headphones as well i only when you see me with my noise canceling headphones i'm not playing any music or anything Mm-mm. Um, I just have them just for noise canceling. So mm-hmm. I, I, Bose always has good audio, but um, if you're looking also for, you like to listen to music, mm-hmm. I would, you know, sometimes you can go to like a Best Buy or something and try out the mm-hmm. different headphones. Yeah. I would do that and see if maybe sometimes mm-hmm. it's a fit, sometimes it's, but it's very personal. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I think from what I've, un, from what I've seen, Bose and Sony have the best noise canceling. So mm-hmm. if you're looking str- solely for noise canceling, mm-hmm. those are the two best. Yeah. Um, I'm really into cars and would like to know more about Esmeralda. Oh, um, Esmeralda is a 67 uh, Mercury Cougar XR7. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got her six years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. she... Actually, six years ago this month. Yeah, September. Yeah, September. And, yeah. Um, you know, my, my son and I, we, my son wanted to learn about cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's now a, a mechanical engineer. He's studying for that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but um, I'm an artist and I knew nothing about cars, you know. I, I You were sweet, though. So we, we I, I got a car that wasn't, like, not working. I, got, I made sure and I right. bought uh, a car... And the reason why I picked uh, the 67 Cougar was I love the hideaway headlights. 
and the uh, sequential tail lights, the uh, turning lights, the turning lights mm -hmm. and Turn uh, signals, yeah. you know things like that. So um, that that's why I got her and she's mm -hmm. been she's been wonderful and of course about six months into having her the 289 the engine died <laughs> and so we literally need, pooped out yeah just stuck I was stuck on the side of the, the highway mm -hmm. and uh so boy we, did I laugh yeah you did and then so I called uh a friend asked if he knew a friend and so he knew a guy who could help us replace it so we put a 302 in her but most of the, for the most part, mm -hmm. we did all of the work ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have so many pictures of them under the hood of the car. Stefner says, shipping is fun, but I've never had to ship as much things at once as you. Um, why don't you, Steph, I'll fly you out and you can help me ship. Next poster, Steph's coming. <laughs> oh gosh. We're gonna put her to work. You guys can all watch Charlie Brown together. Oh my God, don't tease me. Um, I finished my first journal three days ago and I'm kind of proud. That's Congratulations. Veronica. Congratulations, you should Yay! be proud. Yay! All right, That's I think exciting. we are exciting. What is that inking pen, Beautiful Strokes? Oh, thank you. That is the Zebra Brush Pen. I love it. Yeah. It's my favorite. It is, we get it on jetpens.com. Um, is Scott going to do Whitney Houston for the letter W? Pretty much, yeah. 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 She's I, iconic 80s. Yeah. I, I, I've I already done my uh, George Michael uh, for a Music Monday, and so I thought I would yeah. do Whitney Houston. Yeah. Um, hey, I, if you guys haven't seen that George Michael auto, um, autobiography movie what? thing that he did. Well, there was... It was that, really good. Well, that one we saw, I think, was on... Amazon, but the one, and then we saw the Wham one on Netflix. Yeah, both of them were very good. We watched both of them very recently, and they were very good. I was pleasantly surprised. I actually feel kind of sorry for the guy. Yeah. After the second one, he really seemed to come into his own the older he got. Um, we have done animation. Um, how are your watercolors able to layer so well? Yes, he uses a hair dryer. Yeah, I, I, I uh, dry between before layers. each layer. I, I'm yeah. not blending them. I'm Letter Lady Z says, my husband and I love our Sony noise-canceling headphones. Yeah, yeah. Sony makes some really good noise-canceling. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And again, it just depends on what kind of a person, you know, what it, personal preference. I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Guy, I am tripping over my words today, guys. Tripping over my words today. All right, adding the water first. Thank you. Um, Scott is using a zebra brush pen. So anybody who's asking about his art supplies, um, we have a list in on the website of all the supplies. We have two lists, supplies that Scott uses, like his favorites, and then we have a list of supplies that he's tried. So you guys could see some of the previous colors sometimes get on the edges and they, now they're bleeding onto here. That's kind of funny. I thought I wasn't supposed to do that with a block. Well, no, they're on the edges because it oh. ran down, and then when I run the paintbrush over it, it picks gotcha. up, picks it up. Okay. Are we blow drying? Yeah. Do I need to mute yeah. you? Okay, muted. Um, so you can find all of his supplies there. I was studying engineering too, but now I strive to be an artist. You can do both, Miyamoto. You can do both. Um. Yeah, no, we're not a paid membership for our web uh, YouTube stuff. Mm -mm. Sure, we can trade off who bakes every day. I love that stuff. We would both weigh like 500 pounds. Can you turn on channel memberships? I'd love to support you in that manner. Um, let me see. Okay, so somebody said, can you turn on channel memberships? I would love to support you in that manner. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, the I, I, I've i thought about that. I've thought about doing Patreons. I've thought about stuff like that. The problem that I have is I feel like I have to create extra content for that. And I'm already trying to create 
as much content as I possibly can. And mm -hmm. I also um, don't want to create a like a tier system where people with money get more things. Mm -hmm. I want it to he be wants free to stuff everybody. To, yeah, to so, be and, and I know that's not what you were asking, but that's just, this is why I haven't done it yet yeah. is because yeah. I don't, I don't want people to subscribe uh, without getting something, but I also don't mm -hmm. want to feel like I'm leaving people out. Right. And, and so that's why we I also keep don't going. want it. We don't want to take advantage of people. Yeah. I, so I keep going back and forth on that, but I, I, I am definitely thinking about it and, and mm -hmm. thank you for thinking of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We appreciate that. I mean, right now, uh, the, just, just, you know, buying the posters mm -hmm. has been huge for us. Uh, yeah, it, it, it that's really, it's been, it's been, um, yeah, it's been really, really yeah. nice. So, yeah. um, yeah, for now, at been. least that, that, that would help. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, also just so you guys remember this can is he see the chat. No, I'm reading the chat to him cause he can't paint and see the chat at the same time. So, so um, this is a black and white picture. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just looking at the lights and shadows and using my experience of painting Caucasian skin tones and saying, this is going to be yellow. These are the, the, the slightly darker parts are going to be the pinks mm -hmm. and then the shadows are going to be the purples. Mm -hmm. So since I'm doing it very stylized, I'm just letting you know, this is what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. He's thinking. I think I'm thinking. <laughs> well, you better be thinking because my brain stopped working a long time ago, honey. You know that very well. 30 years ago. Yep, 30 years ago it just stopped working. Oh, we just read a really nice uh, um, letter. I Was it like a letter or something? Or it was a... Um, like a an article an that article it, yeah that, that Bono, Bono wrote, wrote in Vogue magazine um, talking about year. his his uh, wife of 40 years yeah yeah so rare someone in the music, music industry yeah being married to to someone for 40 years yeah and it was really a lovely piece oh it was wonderful yeah. it was absolutely wonderful yeah all right blow dryer oh no 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 wait 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 okay um, I don't think Scott's gonna put a spider in any next piece. Um, unless we do something Halloweenish. Uh, Kendall, do not get in trouble. Watching in social studies class, you're gonna get in trouble. Um. Oh, you're welcome for the recommendations. Are you still an active fan of Dragon Ball? Mm, I don't think he is. Hang on a second. I will. Um, what's your favorite band since you're painting musicians and you are unmuted? Um, Def Leppard, Toe the Wet Sprocket, mm -hmm. The Beatles. Um, mm -hmm. Gosh. I mean, there's. it's so hard to pick a favorite band, but... Marguerite says, another channel I belong to, people who can donate memberships to people who can't afford it. See, how does that, I, I wonder how that works because I, I did think about that. Um, mm -hmm. How does, how, how do you give people memberships, you know, based on another person donating? But I, I, I definitely will look into that a little more. Um, let's see. The Gothic Vampire is a painting that Scott did. Um... <laughs> Kermito got back from Turkish class and had an exam and got a 95. Look at you. Hey. Our school is being more strict about phones now, sadly. I am not surprised. This is a first stream. Orca Strike is there. Was able to join and loves your art. Oh, thank you. Um, good to know that over 200 people watch every single one of your live streams to support you because they love you. Think about that. Thank you. Um, yeah, Bono is, yeah, Bethany is correct. Um, Artness wants to know how they can send a drawing to you. Uh, well, we have a Discord, um, unless you're mm -hmm. talking about a physical drawing, in which case we have 
uh, a PO box on our website. website. Mm -hmm. And and I just I just want to be open with everybody that while obviously I'm going to open everyone and I love getting these, I can't send a re response or or, or mm -hmm. uh, make a video about each one or anything like that. So just you know, please keep your expectations on how I respond um, low because it is it is wonderful receiving your art. It's just mm -hmm. pretty impossible for me to personally respond to every single piece of art mm -hmm. or letter or something that people send me. Tell everybody why you wet the paper first. Um, we found someone had mentioned, because uh, I'm just... I usually use cold press watercolor paper, mm -hmm. but which is I, very bumpy, textured, textured. But I, I I like the way the ink goes on the the hot press paper, which is mm -hmm. smoother. Um, but it was really smooth, and so the water the the watercolors were kind of sitting on top of it. They weren't soaking in, and so someone says if you put water on it first, you kind of are activating it, getting it ready to absorb mm -hmm. the the paint and mm -hmm. it seems to work pretty well that way yep. and so that's why i'm doing it what medium do you recommend for a beginner artist pencil and paper blow dryer oh blow dryer hold on a second uh go ahead Aww. Bethany's got another person who's gonna subscribe. And they say, thank you so much for sharing. Your paintings are beautiful and your videos are so relaxing. You've earned a subscriber. Oh, thank That's you. That's so sweet. No, that was for Bethany. Oh. Not you. Okay. Nobody well, thank you no, for, nobody for saying likes that you. for Bethany. You should um, see her studio. She has the most beautiful paintings in her studio. She does the most beautiful things. Really, really beautiful paintings. And lots of kitties. Oh my gosh, if you ever want to hug a kitty. Okay, she has this one cat. And you'll see um, Picasso in her videos. Picasso likes to sit anywhere Bethany is in front of the camera in her face. But she has this other cat, and his name is Michelangelo. And I'm obsessed with him. And if I wasn't allergic, I would take my face and I would bury it in his little fuzzy face because he's so cute. But he is literally like a puffball. He's so much fur and he's like the sweetest thing and when i'm there if like we were sitting we were petting the rescue kittens she was like feeding these rescue kittens and we were sitting on the floor and he comes over and he just flops down like right next to me oh i'm obsessed with him he's so cute anyway i digress can you tell i miss having a pet um damn michelangelo is not his favorite that is not an incorrect statement he is my favorite yes i also like to um harass bob ross which is her one of her other cats who's kind of a little weenie head i like to just well smack they're his, kindred spirits i know i like to smack his little tail it's so <laughs> donna funny. and bob ross yeah oh yeah um any tips for acrylic paint no check with bethany primrose scott does will not try coffee painting because he doesn't even like the smell of coffee oh, yeah i'm not <laughs> Um, the mods will put the link to the discord in. All right, blow dryer. Um, this person cookie says your um, stuff calms them down after an anxiety buildup. And on that same note, cookie, you do not have to come out until you are ready to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, that's something that's super, super, super personal. So. Um. um ev art do you want to know what his favorite drawing is that he's done or his favorite drawing from another artist and then um can you answer what other artists inspire you Oh, um, Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema, uh, John Busima, um, 
Alphonse Mucha, and JC Liondecker. Um, Oogly Boogly says, Hi Scott, I was wondering what inspired you to become an artist in the first place. You've always inspired me to become an artist, and I'm currently practicing a painting now. Uh, Spider-Man. I fell in love with Spider-Man, and my mom was an artist, and my uncle was an artist, and so I was always around art, and so I was just kind of encouraged to um, try it. Shagufta asks if you have any tips for drawing dynamic poses. I've been struggling with that lately, or there are, or are there any books that you recommend? Yeah, there's there's a video uh, on it, and there are books uh, on it um, that I recommend. So in the video, but also on our website. Um, Grace says, listen to you guys while I'm studying for my grad school. I'm going for mental health counseling and art therapy. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I love that, Grace. I love that. Mr. Saba, how many letters do you usually get? Um, I, I don't get a ton. Uh, you know, maybe mm, a few gotten, a week. Yeah, we've gotten a few you know. a week at least. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Blood dryer. Wait. Okay, go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, he's not going to paint with T either. <laughs> Your Bob Ross is not a demon. He's just he's just all attitude. I love that about him. He's all attitude. He cracks me up. Um the winner was already chosen for the Rick Ashley painting. I'll announce it uh later today maybe. Michelangelo is a love muffin and he loves belly rubs. He does. He's so cute. Um, this summer I went to art camp with my best friend. Oh, that's Do great. Do you recommend art camp for kids? I don't know if it helped or not. Uh, oh, you, Our boys you, never went to art camp. Yeah, you... That's um, pretty cool. You have more experience with that than I do. I've never been to an mm -hmm. art camp. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cool that they have so many fun things for kids now that are very, very specific. It's not like it's just summer camp where they go and like you play outside and you, you do like archery or like the traditional. They have art camp. They have computer camp. They have, you know, all they have um, programming. They have, you know, like all sorts of different fun things. Yeah. You know, um, down in Alabama, in Huntsville, they have a huge um, the space, camp. space thing. Yeah, they have space camp. It's crazy. Yeah. It's so cool. Um, so it's, it's they have such neat things for kids nowadays. It's so exciting. Um, where can we find your website? It is... Oh, good. Nixie put it in. Never mind. We're good. Um, you guys are faster than me today. Hello from England. Hello. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Bono's eye color. Oh, don't look at me. I have no idea. If I get for using a black and white photo. That is what you get for using a black and white photo. It was the best photo, though. I'm assuming his hair color is brown. Yeah, I think so. Dark brown. Yeah. Um, let's see. We did tea stain a... Um, a frame. Yes, a matte. Blue eyes, Nick CSS. Blue eyes. Um, we did tea stain a frame, which was great. I'm auditioning for my school's musical later today and I'm scared because the kid I used to have a crush on is going for the same role and I know he's better than me. Do you guys have any words of encouragement? Oh, Kendall, you've got this. Don't be... Okay, so this is going to sound easier than I know it is <laughs> because go in there and just like put, basically put your blinders on you're in there and you're auditioning and you don't need to worry about anybody that's around you or what's going on just focus on what you're there to do and i know that's hard dark brown hair says emma and oh, blue eyes very you. blue eyes just have fun and yeah well you know it's it's the same thing i was saying about um 
I don't know if you saw the videos from the speech professor, uh, but we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, Did he post that interview yet? Yeah, yeah. They're they're both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but but we were talking about how eighty percent of a successful career mm -hmm. is luck. Correct. And there's nothing you could do about luck. Mm -mm. Um, the, all you could do is the other 20%, which is hard work and talent and yeah. determination. So you going and, and auditioning is your 20%. But remember, the other 80% of whether you get picked or not, mm -hmm. completely luck. Yeah. It could be that the people deciding are looking for a specific Correct. thing or Correct. they know somebody Correct. or what you there's so many factors that you yeah, have no that control, control over yeah so once you know that don't put that pressure on yourself mm -hmm. you gotta kind of have to leave that to the universe and say all you can do is the best you can do yep and then whatever happens happens and you could still yeah. be upset about it of course that's human nature well, yeah sure. but but just go and have the best time and do your best and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Blow dryer. Wait a minute. Good. Um. No, Naomi, you're cute. Um. It's a bit random, but I just wanted to tell someone I finally have a therapy appointment. Ugh, Veronica, that is amazing. I loved therapy. It was great. I highly, highly recommend therapy. Veronica finally has a therapy appointment. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm glad I was able to make it this morning. We're glad you were able to make it too. In your vid, you tested the student version of the Windsor Newton Travel Kit. You said you put it on your site, but I can't find it anywhere. I can find it online. I need a cheap one, so answering would really help. Oh, it should be right there, Bethany. Is it that thing where uh, I, I was telling Bethany, I said, sometimes I have a hard time because it's broken up into sections. Right. Rather than just all kind of just listed honey, straight down. Honey, they've got it on here already. They've got it on here. The mods already put it in because they're so freaking awesome. You're good. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so the mods are our friends. They have been around since the very, very beginning when we were on TikTok and there was about 12 of us, 15 of us that were on TikTok together and we used to go live and they put up with us for <laughs> hours on end. Wait, hold on. Go ahead. Um, yeah, they've been our friends for quite a while. Um, and, um, they're amazing people really amazing people and they're all very artistic in their own ways um people do some people do um painting some people do drawing some people do digital some people do fiber arts everybody has their own interesting way that they um express themselves which is really cool but the best thing about them is they just every single one of them has the best heart and we love them very much. They are amazing people. Me and my mom, who was a teen in the 80s, love guessing who the artist is every time there's yeah. a new one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, Maluzine is off to provide some therapy now. Oh, that's awesome. You're doing a very important job. Yes, have a great day. Tell us about when Scott got hired to do Spider-Man and how it was doing that. Oh, um... Well, he whined was... about doing Spider-Man. What? He whined about wanting to do Spider-Man forever and then finally got to do it. Yeah. So, you know that song from Lionel Richie, Dancing on the Ceiling? Yeah, that was him. <laughs> for about 10 months. Uh, it, it was amazing. Um, uh, essentially what had happened was I got the call um, in August of 2020 or uh, 2002 yeah. or no 2001 sorry mm -hmm. and then uh, we scheduled to go out there I think the end of September and 9-11 um, happened oh my God, yeah. 
And so it, everything was... You know, before that, you were able to wear shoes, you know, going through the thing. You know, there wasn't armed yep. guards and everything. And yep. you can just walk right up. Even if you didn't have a ticket, you could walk right yeah. up to the gate. Yeah. Um, security was a lot easier to get through. And so mm -hmm. it was a really scary time. I remember flying... Uh, 18 days. Yeah, I remember flying in and, mm -hmm. the, you know, uh, Ground Zero was still smoldering. Yeah. You know, there's still smoke. Smoke. We didn't know rising. if we were going to be able to go. Yeah, we didn't yeah. know if we were going to be able to go because because there was like there was no no flights for I think a mm -mm. week. Yeah. And um, but anyways, you know, so tensions were still really high, mm -hmm. but everybody was really nice. Um, Every I think everybody was kinder to each other because no one really everybody was still in shock. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, but uh I sat down with Joe Casada, Axel mm -hmm. Alonso, and mm -hmm. Bill Jameis. And um mm -hmm. basically, you know, th they tried to talk me out of Spider Man mm -hmm. because they're like everybody wants to do Spider Man and they, they were making the Toby Maguire movie was coming out next year mm -hmm. and and um yeah. But I was like, nope, it's either Spider-Man. Because they were like, do you want to do Fantastic Four or X-Men or mm -hmm. anything? I was like, nope, it's got to be Spider-Man. And uh, Move it along. Okay. He will talk about Spider-Man like forever in a day. Forever in a day. Anyway. Um, does Scott or any of the mods have any videos on drawing buildings? I have one on perspective. Uh, you can look at that, but, um, no, I don't really have one on buildings per se. I find the pro one, but the student one isn't anywhere. The student one is the one that's linked. Yeah, on it our, should be the student one the, that's the linked. the field box. Yeah. It's $25. Yeah, it should be the one that's linked. Um, let me just look really quickly. Here we go. Let me see. It should be there. Um, let me see. Resources. Art supplies list is Scott's art supplies list. Yeah, it's the first one on there. Windsor and Newton travel kit. Click it. See if it, is it going to, to the right Hang spot. Hang tight. Let me see. Let me see, please. Uh, nope, it's the it the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolor set. Yeah. Okay. Good. On Blick. Okay. What about the 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 Amazon link? Mm, let me look, please. One moment, please. Yeah, the price did go up. It's fifty four dollars for the Cotman set on Blick. So the student set, the price has gone up. Let me look at the Amazon link. That's double the price. Yeah, yeah, it is. If you go to the Amazon link, um, the Cotman watercolor set is eighteen dollars and seventeen cents wow. right now. It okay. actually went. It actually went, went down. Down. Okay. Yeah, it actually went down on Amazon. So if you Click. look on Amazon, it's eighteen dollars for the Cotman. And that travel fluctuates. Set. So I would grab it now if that's what you want to. Yeah, do. that's a heck of a deal for that. Steph says, Donna, we were um, we were there in the beginning. For some reason, you just reminded me of Aslan. You have been here from the beginning. <laughs> The very beginning. Do you study proportion? Um, yeah, every Only time when I draw. Making scones. Every time I every time I draw, I uh, have to study proportions. Uh, if you look at the the one minute figure drawing playlist, mm -hmm. that'll help you with your proportions. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So on where I am in the comments, I try to stay current with the comments, but if I find a question that I really like that I want Scott to do, cause you guys just nail the comments, like with question, 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 which is great. I love it. But sometimes I hold my, my, um, what are you looking for? I'm trying to decide what the background color is. I just, you know, I, oh, okay. I what I did last. Okay. Um, so I try to, um, make sure that I don't miss any important comments that you guys have put in. Sometimes I do and I apologize. Um, we cannot play any music that is not on our approved list from Sony, which by the way, thank you to Sony for the music that we are using today, which is Little Women again. And, um, but yeah, let's see. Some of us bake, you still put up with all of us. 
I love that you bake and um, I have practical uh, experience with uh, Jamie Brown's baking and it's delicious. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. Um, did I miss too much? Well, I don't know. You can go back and so. see it all. Do you have any tips for getting likenesses in portraits? I can draw the facial features correctly and proportions. It's that sometimes it doesn't look like the reference. Any tips? Love your content. That's Beth. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, my, my best advice is to trace it. That's mm -hmm. what professionals do. We trace when we have to get the likenesses just right. When you're just playing around, you don't. Mm -hmm. But if you really, really want to get your likenesses right, mm -hmm. trace it. Yeah. Um... Let's see. It's so nice to listen to you and watch you, um, and do art while I do. I finished my third card with an envelope. Just got into the flow. Thank you. That's Slania. Oh, that's wonderful. I'll Thank you. Um, do you have any ideas already for the letter V? I'm heavily leaning towards Van Halen, uh -huh. but uh, I was going to do David Lee Roth, but it seems like the consensus uh -huh. is to do Eddie Van Halen. Um. Yeah. Ash says, I love Spider-Man. When I went to see Across the Spider-Verse, walked out of the theater, Spider-Man was the only thing I would draw for like two months. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, Scott, do you do art with any other art forms? Uh, I try to, yeah. I mean, I, I've, I, I use uh, colored pencils. I've done um, gouache. Uh, I will do just markers. Uh, sometimes just pencils. Mm -hmm. So I try different stuff. I get bored very easily, so I kind of mm -hmm. move around. Yeah. Um, I'll paint on different things. I just painted on my son's helmet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How do you stay motivated when you do big projects like your gothic vampire painting? Um, I just tackle them in 20 minute bites and then mm -hmm. I go do something else. And um, the problem with bigger projects, and this is why I have a corner of shame, is the problem is, is that sometimes you mm -hmm. just don't want to come back to them. You yeah. just lose interest in them. <clears throat> why do you do the background last? Uh, because um, a lot of times I will use inks or dyes which will bleed. The dyes will bleed mm -hmm. and the inks are very permanent. This time I used an ink. Mm -hmm. um, and. Do inks bleed with water? No, the inks inks are very permanent, but the the, the dyes or the the uh, the Doc Martin concentrated watercolors. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I would be doing the hair and there was green there, and mm -hmm. if even just a little bit touches, the mm -hmm. green just kind of just spreads ah, out. Ah, okay. Whereas okay. the watercolors don't do that, the inks and so mean. it's just safer that way. Okay. I've just learned to just do because I if I want like. And of course, today I didn't do. I did a very muted gray, which is kind of mm -hmm. almost a purplish. Um, yeah, it looks but, purple from but, this. But normally, I will do a very powerful background color, mm -hmm. and that saturated color will will bleed in if I do it first. Oh, so if I do okay. it last, then okay. this part isn't wet, so it won't bleed onto it. Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, what's oh. your favorite band from the '60s? From the 60s, mm. that'd be the Beatles. Um, Blow dryer. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we are only chill on the lives, just so you know. Pathridge. Pathridge. Um, let's see. The background music was given to us by Sony, so that's the music we're using. Um... Which brand of brush pen do you use? Uh, Zebra is the, I guess that's the brand, right? Yeah, the brand is Zebra. Mm -hmm. um, do you and Donna sit right next to each other while Scott's painting, or do you sit in different rooms? Sebastian would like to know. Oh, no, she's, she's I wouldn't say next. She's about maybe six feet away. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and... Um, Typically, I have my office upstairs in our formal living room, which is my office now. And Scott is down here in our basement. So um, which brand? Oh, we already did that. I thought that was paintbrush. Well, why don't you tell everybody what paintbrush you were using today anyway? Because I know some people are going to ask or are going to forget to ask. Uh, I'm using the Utrecht paintbrush. Do you study proportions? You asked that already. Did I? Yeah. 
<sighs> How are we doing is the next question. Well, clearly Donna is doing having a little mental moment. So. Donna is the typical Donna that we've all kind of come, yeah, to, come to know and love. I was going to say tolerate, but okay. Wow. <laughs> tolerate. That's what I get this morning. I get tolerate. And I baked scones for you. Not what today. Uh, and I'm not gonna either. Not today is croissants. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Bethany says Donna and Chill don't necessarily go in the same sentence together. <laughs> Seriously? Really? You two? Fine. Whatever. Forget it. Don't come over. I'll ship everything myself. Fine. Oh, I'd love to see that. Emma says passes Donna some more tea. See? Emma gets me. You and Bethany are just mean to me. Um. See, they think you're bullying me now. I am. Um, I have to have some you're enjoyment. So, you're so mean. Do you ever feel like you've answered the same questions over and over and over and over? And well, over? as I've said before, yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, no. I, I do answer a lot of the same questions, but I don't mind. I really don't. Um, Arkit says, hey, Scott, big fan of your art and your movie. Can you talk more about what making and directing your own movie was like? Oh, thank you. It's freaking um, awesome. It, yeah, it was amazing. Um, we got to, to travel to Spain and London and Los Angeles and New York. And yeah. we got to meet, you know, Sylvester Stallone and Danny DeVito and Ian McKellen and, and Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. And, you know, we got to work with uh, Queen and, and Huey Lewis in the News and Michael Buble and we made a movie you know it was the the coolest thing um both of you sound so calming relaxing and cute <laughs> thank you i don't know me very well um let's see i am i just started learning drawing portraits but i don't see any progress it is is it i'm not practicing enough or i'm studying in a wrong way um i, I can't tell without you know, seeing what's going on, but I would say um, practice never, you can never go wrong with practice. So um, I, I would say maybe you're trying to do a finished portrait each time mm -hmm. and maybe just fill a sketchbook with like 30, 30 portraits, get used to drawing the face from different angles rather than the same thing. Try that. Um, honey, what was the white pen that you were using? That's a Uniball Signo. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it sticks. So yeah, take it, it with it, a grain it, of salt. It usually works well on top of ink. That's mm -hmm. why it went really well today. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Can you do one month of horror characters for October? I did. I did do that once. And um, I did a Inktober, Spooktober thing about... Mm -hmm three years ago yeah um and i think there's still some of those for sale on our site but mm -hmm. I, I you know for me horror is big horror people dracula yeah. or what we do in the shadows <laughs> you mm -hmm. know at most aliens yeah you know yeah interview with a vampire that kind of stuff i i'm not like into slasher stuff or anything like that yeah uh we've been married for 30 years god knows how but we have been um, Leon got the stickers um, from the Hair Journal yesterday, and they're awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. That's great. Um, All right, I am done. Scott uses a zebra brush pen for inking. He started drawing when he was about six or seven. Um, are you going to do, they want White Snake for W. Yeah, White Snake would be, we've been to, I've been to two White Snake concerts. Mm -hmm. How big do you think the poster um, will be when you compile all these? I'm thinking 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. Is YouTube your job and what other jobs have you had? Uh, currently YouTube is my job and other jobs I've had was I wrote and directed mm -hmm. a movie. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be an animator. Uh, I wrote books. I was a game mm -hmm. designer. He's done a lot of things. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've done mm -hmm. a few a few different things. Mm -hmm. Scott studied illustration uh, when he went to art school. And he had been drawing for quite some time um, when he went to art school. So I'm cro crocheting a small shark while watching this. Very good to listen to. Nice. 
Um, let's see. Please bring Octavia back. <laughs> I will definitely try to come up with some ideas for her. I can't wait for these to be on a poster. I missed the stream. Well, Layla, you can go back and watch it. It's yeah, going to be up there. Um, yeah, says I much preferred October. I still <laughs> hope Octavia makes a comeback in October. You guys are so funny. I might go on to the community section before October and mm -hmm. ask for some suggestions of what Oct Octavia should be doing. Why don't you do like a... Um... When everybody puts suggestions in, make a prompt list for October. You know, just make a list of things well, to do. Yeah, I gotta come up with I don't know if I'm gonna do 30 days of it though. It doesn't have to be 30 days. You can just do a list of things. I didn't do 30 days of like journaling stuff. I okay. just do like a list of things. Like here's some suggestions like Octavia drinking, you know, apple cider, you know, bobbing for apples, you know, trick or treating, you know, just for different things like that. And everybody can draw their own version of it. Okay. What has been your most challenging art piece? The Animal Crackers movie poster. Is the tiny white pencil done for? I think I still got a little bit more life out of it. Where is it? Scott started drawing when he was about six or seven. Um, I think I can get a little sharpener, a little sharper. Yep, my pencil is uh, smaller than your pencil. <laughs> as he sharpens the pencil. All right, I'm done, dear. You're done? I'm wow, done. look at you. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll talk about Octavia. And um, does Scott make art lessons and teach us the basics of drawing? Yes, go to the Art Hacks playlist and you will find everything there. <clears throat> okay, so um, that's it. We've had a good day. Um, we hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Scott's going to toast me some, Nicole says, put up community challenges. Exactly, Donna. Um, there you go. Um, we all right. love you, and we will see yeah. you on Friday for the letter V. Ellen says, fun fact, I can walk on the treadmill and knit and watch you guys at the same time. Wow. Okay, that's scary. I can't even take a sweatshirt off while I'm on the treadmill yeah, without falling and leg. killing myself. Yeah. Um... Okay, a zebra brush pen for inking and a Uniball Signo pen for the white liner. And that was a white Prismacolor colored pencil. Any pencil works good for sketching a number two pencil. Could be a pencil you steal from somebody else. It doesn't matter. All right, guys, we have a great day. We will see you on Friday for um, v. v. And we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Oh, and I owe you guys another video. Yes, I will get on that. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.